Hi, this is Dark Fox 127 and welcome to another Skyrim video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get your Skyrim DLCs to load up in the Skyrim Creation Kit. As when you try and load up any DLC in the kit, once you first got the DLC, it will just bring up a number of errors before crashing. So the way that you fix this is you make a few tweaks in one of the Skyrim Pref ini files, as I'm going to show you now. So first you want to go to your Skyrim data. I've got my own little sort of shortcut here. But if you want to know where it is on your machine, most of the time for most people it's on the C drive, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common and Skyrim. As you can see that's not the location of mine, I've got mine on a secondary drive. So it's under my E drive, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common and Skyrim. So you have to find out where your uh, Skyrim data folder is, well Skyrim folder not the data folder sorry and if you're in the right folder you'll see that you've got like the EXEs for the uh, the Skyrim game itself as well as a few other things like the creation kit executable and in here you should see a file called Skyrim editor and this any file we are going to open up with notepad so if it's not already going to open up with notepad if it's not got any program linked with it then you want to open with and select notepad now I recommend that you've got this window uh, quite large spanning across most of your screen or just pretty much maximize it if you like uh, to make sure that you can sort of see that the whole list of things as, as we get to the bottom things do stretch along quite far. So at the very top we're going to start with these first two lines here. Now as you can see I've already gone ahead and done mine so I'm just going to cancel mine out, uh, remove mine and that's what you should have on yours and as I said we're going to add these two lines at the start here B allow multiple master files equals one and B allow multiple master loads equals one no spaces in any of that you're going to want to add those to the top under general as that will allow us to actually load all of our BSA files for the DLCs at the same time so you could use resources from all of them and then you want to scroll down pretty much to the bottom where things get quite hectic, where there's quite a lot. And you want to go under Archive. Under Archive you'll see S Resource Archive List equals Skyrim. And then somewhere below that you'll see S Resource Archive List 2 equals Skyrim. Now because I've already set mine up and I don't actually remember too much how it is sort of by default. I've got Dragonborn and Dawnguard BSA on the end of the first S Resource Archive list. And you might want to add that on if it's not already there. I think that gets added on itself after something like update 1.9, but I'm not quite sure about that. So if those aren't on the end, then make sure that after update BSA, you put comma space Dawnguard.bsa, comma space Dragonborn.bsa. Make sure that you add those two on. Then under S resource archive list 2 equals Skyrim you should have only shaders BSA and update BSA so it will look like that. And you want to just add on the end the three BSAs for the DLCs for Skyrim. Now if you've only got one of these or two of these like you haven't got them all then you can just add the ones for the DLCs that you have. I don't think the order really matters uh, but if you've got all the DLCs add them all on. If you want to add all three on the end, I don't think that uh, affects anything. I don't think that's a problem even if you don't have them all. So just go ahead and do that. So you'll want comma after update.bsa. You want space dawnguard.bsa, comma, space, hearthfires.bsa. And I'll say fires because I thought that was like a, a spelling error or something, but it isn't. There is actually a, an S on the end, even though it's the hearthfire DLC. So uh, make sure that the S is in there. Dot BSA, comma, space, Dragonborn. Dot BSA. And that is all that you need to do with the ini file. I do recommend that before you edit this, if you're not quite sure what you're doing, then just uh, make a copy of it on your desktop, back it up in case you do mess things up, and then you can put it back in uh, to its original state. Now I'm not going to go ahead and save that because I've already got mine set up, but you'll have to save that and then uh, close out of it, and then we're just going to load up the creation kit. So let that launch. Then as usual we'll go ahead and click on data. And what you usually do is you double click and select your Skyrim ESM and then if you are working with a current mod you'd set that as active. Now in this case when you want to load one of the DLCs 
then you just double click on that DLC's ESM here so if we wanted to load up Dawn God we'd have Dawn God if we wanted to load up Dragonborn it'd be Dragonborn same for Hearthfire and then you'd go ahead and if you're working with one that is tied in with Dragonborn DLC then you'd have to set that as active otherwise if you're just making a new mod it's just Dragonborn obviously so you go ahead click OK now you will get errors again but if you do get any errors then just click yes to all you'll get about two or three of them so you just pretty much ignore those and that should load without any problem it'll start at the bottom here you'll see that it says that it's loading the Skyrim ESM and then it will proceed to load the ESM of the DLC or DLCs that you've selected and that will work fine now if you want to use all of the resources across all of the DLCs and make your mod require everything then you can just double click on all of them you'll select all of them including the update ESM so it'd be Skyrim, Update, Dawnguard, Hearthfire and Dragonborn so you need all those ESMs selected and that will take uh, quite a while usually depending on your PC's performance but then you can go ahead and click OK and after a long process and an extra few errors on the end as you get with the kit it should actually load up and not be a problem now I'm not going to go ahead and do that because I'll be sitting here for quite some time given that half my computer's resources are going into recording this video but that is how you do it that is how you'll load up your DLCs for Skyrim in the Skyrim creation kit now not all of the credit goes to me as I've found most of this information from different resources across the internet so thanks go to whoever managed to figure this out as Bethesda don't actually support their DLCs being loaded in the kit they, they don't actually set that up which is why we've had to do it and that is that I hope you found this video helpful useful please feel free to leave comments let me know what you think see if it works for you uh, if it doesn't then just uh, double check everything that you've done make sure that you followed the steps correctly uh, please make sure that you check out my anti-social websites and my main website and that is it so thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you next time